Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another Logan Blackman Show preview of the United States men's national team in the 2019 Gold Cup. This preview is for United States versus Curacao, which takes place tonight, 7 p.m. Central Time, on FS1. So make sure you tune into that. Should be a very exciting game tonight. Uh, maybe not exciting, but it, could, it should be a decent game to watch. Now, this preview is coming off the bat. We've done three previews so far this Gold Cup. One for Trinidad and Tobago. One for, wow, I'm completely biking, Guyana, and the other one for Panama. Guyana was the first game they played. That Guyana video, I don't know what went on with that video. That video blew up. The Pan, the Trinidad and Tobago video was more like, this is a decent amount of views. And then the, the Trinidad, and then the Panama video is about where I expected the views for all my videos so far. So thank you all for watching these videos only got one dislike at all three of those videos i'll take a win any way i can get them but thank you all for watching those videos this is another one of the videos just like those videos and yeah i hope you enjoy stay for the entire video this should be a shorter video i'm not really going to talk a lot for this one the other ones have been a little longer and they've been the been more annoying to me with the time length because i talked about in the last video the time thing I, it's getting annoying how you need to verify you two. I do have one. It did it again though So obviously I must not have one anymore or it's not working or something I don't know, but it's just getting annoying at this point So we're just gonna do a shorter video short and sweet video for this one now The US United States is coming up against as the aforementioned Curacao United States topping their group winning all three games not conceding any scoring six four and one in all of their games that's not in the order when the games happen we trinidad tobago 6-0 guyana 4-0 and panama coming up coming from a couple days ago in kansas city decent performance the united states men's national team in that game played everyone benched all their starters that have been starting consistently for the u.s in this gold cup they haven't changed the starting lineup no one's been implemented to either starting lineup the game against panama they played everybody who had not started a game in this tournament so you saw the likes of Sean Johnson and goalie shot we talked about how this could happen with the backup team coming in and playing Panama maybe we see a completely new starting lineup what if everybody that hasn't played or has just been a substitute comes in and plays? so we have Sean Johnson uh, Reggie Cannon Gonzalez Miazga Lovitz Trap Roldan Mihovic uh, Morris Jonathan Lewis and Josie Altador what if maybe they all start I thought they would want to play a little stronger lineup but this made sense didn't want to get anyone to get hurt you're already advanced and they felt pretty confident they could defeat Panama in this game now you saw the likes of Reggie Cannon one of the most probably I think he is the most inexperienced player of all the U.S. teammates team members for this gold cup club and internationally played pretty decent at the right back spot made some nice runs up the middle up the right side of the field now on the left side Daniel Lovitz did not play particularly well um he looked shaky in a lot of different aspects, both in offense and in defense. So I now see, I'm going to stop calling for him to start over Tim Ream. I know Tim Ream's experienced. I know he's a better defender, but he hadn't been playing that well. I see why he hadn't made the change with Daniel Lovitz yet. So yeah, he didn't play great. Omar Gonzalez wore the armband. We talked about how there's going to be someone probably random wearing the armband. Now our random person was Christian Roldan, who did start in that game, didn't play. No one played particularly great in this game. There was a lot of decent performances, but it's what you expect from a U.S. men's national team playing a bunch of their backup players. Jonathan Lewis played on the right, the left side, Jordan Morris on the right, Josie on the right, that's like a, a reft, and Josie Altador coming up through the middle. In the midfield, Will Trapp, Roldan, Mihailovic, Mihailovic, I still can't, it's still a struggle for me, I don't know why, and Omar Gonzalez partnering Matt Miazga in center back. Now we talked about how all these changes could happen, I did, again, I did think they'd play a little stronger lineup, but it made sense for why they did this, um, but yeah, not a great, nothing fantastic, I mean a decent performance, I guess, got over the 1-0 win, looked shaky at times, but came away with the win, that's all that really matters in this game. And yeah, so they won the group. They topped the group. Panama coming in second, having to play Jamaica in the next round in the knockout phases of the Gold Cup. U.S. again playing Curacao. That's the title of this video. U.S. Men's National Team Gold Cup review against Curacao. Curacao is coming off their first ever win in a Gold Cup. Not in their last game. Two games ago, we talked about this against Honduras where they won 1-0. And Honduras had around 30-something shots. Curacao had around five shots the entire game. It came out with a little smash and grab win against Honduras very shocking performance and shocking result for everybody involved Honduras some by viewed by most people to be one of the 
better teams in CONCACAF. They lost to the likes of El Salvador in the first game 1-0, then they beat Honduras 1-0, and then they tied a, tied Jamaica 1-1 in a very, not, uh, not a very awe-inspiring performance from either team in that game Jamaica topping the group on five points. So yeah, Curacao and the United States, they have not played each other since, I believe, 1984, when, ne when they were called Netherlands Antilles. 1984, a lot of these players that are playing for the United States, and even Curacao, I imagine, weren't even really alive when these two teams first took place. Just a crazy time since these two teams have played. They're, they're all a bunch of different things have happened to get to this point. It's crazy that they're playing each other. Now, all of you look at this game probably, or a lot of people look at this game like, oh, it's Curacao. The United States should come away easily in this game. Yeah, they should. Will they? No, they'll probably make it a little difficult. I mean, they've won two game. They won two games by a score of six six zero and four zero against two lower level opponents. Curacao is a lower level opponent, but they're motivated. This is like their World Cup. They're probably never going to make it to a World Cup. I say probably. I don't want to lock out that. I'm not going to say it'll never happen because if it does, someone's going to find my video with 15 views and go, "Ha, this loser." said that they wouldn't make it. I told you they'd make it. But yeah, it's a crazy performance from Curacao in this tournament. Congratulations to making it in the knockout stages. I'm not I'm not, not cheering for you tonight, but good job on making it as far as you did. Maybe you advance past the United States. I'm hoping not, but maybe you do. Now, other performances that took place in the knockout stages last night, Canada lost to Haiti up 2-0, lost 3-2. Haiti's first ever time in the semifinals for the CONCACAF Gold Cup. And then you had Mexico beating Costa Rica on penalties. Now, a lot of people considered them to be the two best teams in their groups, too. Surprisingly, Haiti topped the group with Costa Rica. And Costa Rica and Mexico, that was a pretty strong knockout. That's like the United States women's national team against France in the Women's World Cup. A lot of people considered that to be a final. Mexico and Costa Rica could have very well been a final. Now, Costa Rica, again... Didn't look great in this tournament at times, but they're usually one of the better teams. If they're not number two, if depending on how the U.S. are feeling, they're usually number two or three in the CONCACAF rankings with Mexico, United States, and Costa Rica kind of flip-flopping spots whenever usually. Those are usually the three locks for World Cups except for last year, but we don't need to talk about that right now. We're talking about the U.S. versus Curse on the Gold Cup. We don't worry about that, about the World Cup last year. But yeah, very... Very crazy stuff going on right now. Mexico and uh, Haiti will play each other in the next round. The United States and Curacao, they'll await the winner of the Panama versus Jamaica game. The U.S. and Jamaica played each other in the last Gold Cup final. U.S. coming out on top in that. In a cup of, I think the Gold Cup before Jamaica came out on top against the U.S. If my memory serves me right, I remember listening to that on the radio with my dad. We were going to Shields. And I don't remember why. I don't know why I remember that. But yeah, it was crazy stuff there that was when Giles Barnes was still playing for Jamaica I don't even know where Giles Barnes is anymore but I used to I used to like Giles Barnes but yeah crazy stuff in this gold cup yeah all going towards Chicago hopefully we can somehow get get up to Chicago and go to that game but yeah crazy stuff crazy stuff and we talked about the U.S. coming off three wins in their group top in their group on a plus to 11 goal difference zero goals allowed this tournament yeah, just played pretty decent in the first halves of these games. They haven't played particularly well. It takes them their second half team, as the old quotes used to say, like, oh, they're a fourth quarter team. Oh, they're a second half team. Like, it's absolutely crazy how they flip the switch at halftime. Now, imagine what they do if they played both halves <laughs> as good as they do. I don't know. Just crazy stuff from the U.S. Hopefully they advance past Curacao tonight. I fully expect them to, but I'm not going to underestimate Curacao. They look motivated and have played pretty well throughout this Gold Cup this year with Leandro Bacuna and Coco Martina playing pretty well for Curacao. Coco, um, sorry, Leandro Bacuna, former Aston Villa player, for Cardiff City player, I believe. Um, he scored the winner against Honduras, getting their first Gold Cup victory. Just crazy stuff from them this year. Yeah, good performances so far. Should be a fun game of night. But right now we're going to dive right into the lineups. And this is why it's going to be a really shorter video. I don't expect any changes. The U.S. has run out with the same lineup they have for their first two wins and rested all their starters against Panama. Got in a whole backup unit, so you'll have the likes. We're just going to go through it quick. The same formation, 4-3-3 with Zach Steffen and goal. Lima on the right back spot. Tim Ream at the left back. Walker Zimmerman, Aaron Long partnering each other at the center back spot. Midfield three, Michael Bradley, Weston McKinney, and Christian Pulisic. And then in the wings, you have Tyler Boyd and Paul Ariola. And up top, you have Jayassi Zardes. 
who played very well against the Trinidad and Tobago national team. Now, the only people that you could really see, at least that I can see, really push towards a starting lineup berth, Matt Mion. I'm getting frustrated with my phone right now. I just need to start deleting things, I guess. But yeah, the only people I could really see push their way towards the starting line to break up this unit that has, again, won two games on the bounce, conceding zero and scoring ten. So I don't really think the lineup will change, but if you want to put some people in there, Matt Miazga may have a chance to play in this game, played pretty well against Panama the other day. Josie Altidore played well, uh, made some good runs here and there, bullied the Panama Panamanian defense, scored the bicycle kick in the game as well. But other than that, I don't really think there's a lot of changes that will be made to the starting lineup. I think it's going to stick the same way that it has been. It's worked so far. Again, scoring 10, conceding zero. Why change it, really? The only people, again, Matt Miazga, maybe, maybe a Josie Altador in there as well. Maybe you see an Aaron Long and Matt Miazga partnership. That is, they've partnered each other a few times to the U.S. Josie Altador, the most experienced striker we have on the U.S. men's national team. Um, yeah, it'll be very interesting to see how they do things in this game. I'm expecting the U.S. to come out, again, I'm going to two zero, maybe a 1-0 game, depending on how Curacao play this game. Maybe they'll do a little smash and grab like they did against Honduras. Allow the U.S. to have all the possession, or not, just to have all the shots on goal, and then try and counter and score a goal like they did against Honduras. So we'll see how that all goes. But yeah, it should be a very fun game against starting lineup. We have Zach Steffen in goal, Leem on the right, Reem on the left, Walker Zimmerman and Aaron Long in the middle, Bradley at holding midfield, McKinney and Pulisic in the midfielders above him. Boyd and Ariel on the white right wing and left wing. And Jaya Cizard is up top. And the captain, again, could be anybody. I think in the first knockout stage, I kind of expected to be Bradley. But I could really see it being anybody. I could also see this being a chance that Pulisic takes the armband back again. He's the best player on the team. He galvanizes the team. And the crowds and fans love it. He could be the captain tonight. Again, we're going to hold that Nick Lima one out there. Because if it happens, I'm going to be laughing and go, ha, I told you it could happen a couple videos ago. Not just this video today. But, yeah, it could be anybody. This rotating captain's thing's kind of interesting. So we'll have to wait and see, but it should be a win for the U.S. Again, 2-0, 1-0. And, yeah, we'll come at you from the next game. If there is a next game, it's against the knockout stages. There's no guarantees in this. Uh, yeah. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Watch the game tonight. And I'll see you guys hopefully next time. Peace.